So take a look at your screen. You've probably seen this picture. It is making the rounds worldwide. It's getting a lot of attention. The picture shows officers arresting a man in Mississippi and then posing in a picture with him after his capture. And right after posting it, this picture is getting a lot of backlash. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Cherise Gibson and I'm Katie Moore. Those officers are not Mississippi police. They're corrections officers at a Louisiana state prison in Washington Parish. They posed for that photo after helping to arrest that man accused of armed robbery. Mike McDaniel has the story. By media outlets across the country and internationally. It comes off in, in very, very bad taste. Four white officers kneel next to a smiling and shirtless black suspect with his hands behind his back. They arrested him last week in Jefferson Davis County, Mississippi, for armed robbery of a bank in Prentice. The Louisiana Department of Public Safety and Corrections confirms those officers are part of a chase team from the Rayburn Correctional Center in Washington Parish. They were called in to help track the suspect down, which they did before posing. It's just interesting to know what, what, what went on in their minds. Why, why would they take this type of photo and what went in the thought process? Ashraf Ismail, associate can... professor of criminal justice at Dillard University, says the optics of the photo speak louder than the arrest of an alleged criminal who he says in this case looks more like a hunting trophy. It kind of brings about, you know, the history of slavery. When you think about the hunting of African-Americans at one time. The suspect is Eric Boykin from Gulfport, now in the Jefferson Davis County Jail, charged with armed robbery and being a felon in possession of a weapon. Those white officers think it's a game. Michael McClanahan, game president game. of the Louisiana uh, NAACP, uh, says with a serious crime like armed robbery, arresting a suspect should carry the same weight, not a photo opportunity. It is not becoming a, a professional law enforcement officer because I know too many of them. And they don't do that. It sends a, a, a wrong message. McClanahan says disciplinary action should follow, but a spokesperson for the Department of Public Safety and Corrections says there was no discipline because there was no rule violation. A statement reads, the picture should not have been taken. It was poor judgment. We regret that it happened and will use this incident for sensitivity training for our staff. Ismail says while this photo may not tell the entire story, it's still a snapshot of concern. With the issue of law enforcement and racial justice this past year, it really gives off a very, very, very bad optic. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. So we wanted to know who those officers are and how long they've been with the Department of Corrections, but a spokesman, a spokesman told us that they declined to release their names, quote, out of an abundance of caution and for the safety of their officers.